We're here on the Iowa Agribusiness Radio Network and on Zoom right now talking with Tom Wood. He's the GM of Belsham USA. And uh, Tom, thank you for taking the time to visit with us today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for the invite. So first of all, let's talk to our listeners a little bit uh, that maybe aren't familiar. Tell us a little bit about Belsham USA or Belsham and, and what the work you guys do, what, what kind of work you guys do. So Belsham is the U.S. business of a Belgian-based company. We've been in business globally for 34 years. We're about a $500 million business, so medium size with about 500 people. We are um, new to the United States. We essentially uh, established a business here in 2018. Our strategy is to uh, maintain a portfolio here, bring in proprietary products from our parent company and start to grow the business that way. All right. And so we're going to be talking along the herbicide uh, topics today. And so tell us a little bit about uh, some of the innovation that you guys have at Belsham and, and some of the things you guys bring to the table uh, to the herbicide market. Well, let me start with this year. We're, we're launching a product called Tough 5EC. It's, uh, it's a broadleaf herbicide and it goes quite well into uh, the current um, integrated wheat management programs used in corn. It's now registered on corn, mint, and chickpeas. So what we're seeing is that when you add tough to your tank, we've seen anywhere from 5% to 30% improvement in control, and it really performs well. And I say it always shines when uh, resistant weeds are, are present. So how does it work? Um, it's uh, the AI associated with Tough is pure date. It's not new chemistry, but it's a chemistry whose time has come and it works. We say it synergizes with HPPD. So, and synergizes on a scientific level. So the pure date essentially increases free radicals that disrupt cell membranes that kill plants and the HPPDs um, reduces the ability of these uh, uh, of the plant to defend itself against free radicals. So it's a nice one two punch and there's the synergy. It also works well <clears throat> with atrazine in the tank. Tough is a foliar application, absorbs very fast into the leaves. Atrazine while also being foliar works mostly through the roots and slower. So you get a nice combination with atrazine also essentially increasing your speed to kill. So it works very well within the, the integrated weed management programs that we have today. That's one innovation that we bring to the United States. Um, we have a couple other in the pipeline for broadleaf weeds that we expect to bring over the next couple of years. Um, we do have one other non-selective herbicide that we didn't launch in ag because it's quite uh, difficult at the, the prices and the cost of this one. But we've launched another one in non-crop, which does quite well. And it's, uh, we call it a, a circular ecology made from sunflower oil and degrades into CO2 and water. And it's, uh, it kills everything it touches. So we have a couple of new innovations that we brought to the United States and we're looking to bring more. All right. And one of the things you touched on right there, uh, first of all, was it could be partnered with atrazine and work very well. Obviously, the, 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 the word that we're getting is that things have changed. The weed control has changed. Using you know, multiple modes of action have become more the norm than they used to be. And so, of course, having that, uh, that partnership there really gives you, like you said, that one-two punch. Yeah, we feel good about it. It's a, it's a solution that we bring to the market and the market's been screaming for it for a long time and continues to. So going against, uh, you know, you said you don't want to, we obviously don't want uh, herbicide resistance on in weeds. And so uh, we're not, see, are we seeing much resistance naturally to the, to the chemical compound or because it's so new, the technology will not necessarily, you said not new, but it's time has come. Uh, are we seeing any uh, complications there or is it pretty well across the board doing a good job? There is no known resistance to pyridate anywhere in the world. Um, so we feel good about that. Uh, and the way we're positioning it 
in in the tank uh, reduces its what propensity of any chemical uh, developing resistance. So we feel good about how we're approaching the market with this, how we've positioned it in the tank. So uh, we don't see resistance in the near future of this chemistry. There's always that risk, but we gotta make sure that we're doing the correct practices to, to avoid those types of things, as anyone would say. <clears throat> So in Iowa, of course, we, we deal with a whole host of, of, of weed problems like, you know, most of the Corn Belt does. Um, what kind of results have you seen? I'm sure in, you know, testing in, in areas around Iowa, you know, and, and seeing results there, what have you seen so far from, from the product? We've seen very good results on Waterham. Um, we think it works best when put in the tank with HPPDs, with uh, mesotrion, especially, and tapirolate. So we've seen very good results on water hemp, also Palmer. So the emotional weeds, uh, Tuff does very good on. Uh, there's other ones that uh, it's performed quite well on, Kosha uh, and Lamb's Quarter. It uh, takes care of them quite nicely. So we can address the emotional weeds and we can address the other uh, weeds that might not be as emotional or as damaging uh, with Tuff in the tank. And, you know, the, the first time we took people out to the field with us, and this would be people in national distribution, and we just walked them through the field trials. Um, we asked them what they thought, and the word, first word was impressive. So we, we kind of like that when we get that response. Well, I'm sure you do. And you kind of ran down that who's who list of weeds uh, that we see up here in Iowa. So for, for, for farmers that are looking at uh, some options for putting in the tank this year, uh, where do they need to go to get, um, where do they need to go in Iowa to, to get a hold of this? Or, you know, what's the availability right now? Well, in, in today's environment, we get asked a lot, uh, how's your supply and are you stable on price? Well, Price, we, run, we go through national distribution and hence retail. So a lot of the pricing decisions are done at that level. So in terms of who can you go to, I would say anyone in national distribution will be able to supply tough. There are several that have already stocked up. I don't know if I can talk about that, but uh, I would just say the who's who will have it. Um, in terms of supply, we don't see any issues with supply this year. Uh, we brought Tough in early. It's a launch year for us. So we brought in everything that we thought we could possibly sell. And it sits here, here in the United States. And most of it is positioned right there in Iowa. So, and Iowa is a nice place to put things when you're operating in corn in the Midwest, uh, very nicely positioned. And we have a little bit more coming. Um, to kind of bolster if there's any last minute demand in the United States. So we feel good about our supply and we feel good about the price. All right. So if there are farmers out there that are watching this, listening to this, uh, where do they find more information out about Tough 5 ec and, and Belgium? Well, one, they can go to our website uh, at www.belsham.com, B-E-L-C-H-I-M. And there's a lot of good information, a lot of good videos from our collaborators. There's uh, some videos we did on instruction. There's, there's actually a nice video that Purdue did for us uh, without any prompting for us that gives a good uh, tutorial on, on how things work. You can also see the rest of our portfolio and different crops, but there's a nice section on, on TOF in our website. That's the best place to, to go to start. All right. Well, Tom, that is all the questions I have for you. Is there anything you want to add for our Iowa producers here before we wrap up today? No, I just one final word on uh, Belsham and Tough. Uh, Belsham, we view ourselves as an innovation company. So we bring new products, new solutions to the market, and we continue to strive to do that uh, continually. Um, we say boots on the ground are the most important thing to us. So we have 75% of our people out in the field. R&D is about 12% of our spend. And Tough is a, a product of, of that type of mindset. Um, so Tough, uh, very good. 
with your current programs. And this is the year to just give it a look, give it a shot and it'll work. It'll work very nicely for you. Well, Tom, I thank you so much for taking the time to visit with us today. Thanks, Stephen. Appreciate it. That is Tom Wood. He is GM of Belsham USA here on the Iowa Agribusiness Radio Network. <laughs>